In this video, we're going to review the options that you can use with the resizable widget. And the first one we're going to take a look at is the max width property. Now this basically will only allow you to resize the width of the image to 300 pixels. And then after that, you're basically done. So let's go ahead and see if it works. And it does. Look, I cannot expand the width out any more than 300 pixels. Now you can also do the same thing for height. So if you want to test this out with height, you can do that as well. Um, there's also a minimum width property as well. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Now basically the way this will work is that the minimum width has to be 300 pixels. So you'll notice that when I start to expand this, it will automatically go right to 300 pixels in terms of the width. Now watch this. See how that went right to 300 pixels. I cannot resize that any shorter than 300 pixels, but I can go out farther now if I want. So that's how the minimum width property works with the resizable widget. Now you can also auto hide this marker if you want. So all we do is come over here and we set this to auto hide. And then the value we use is true. So let's go ahead and see if this works. And there you can see the marker is now gone. Now if I highlight over that spot, it appears. So that's the way the auto hide works. Now we can also use the distance property. So let's go ahead and put that here. And basically what this does is we put a value in here and let's set this to 230 pixels. And basically that means resizing will not take place until we've resized this image 230 pixels, no matter what direction. So let's go ahead and refresh this and let's move this 230 pixels. See how nothing's happened? And finally it kicks in once I've moved 230 pixels. So that's how the distance property works. Now we can also create a ghost effect. And actually this is one of my more favorite properties with the resizable widget. We can actually create a ghost image when we start to resize the image. So we just put the ghost property right here and we just set this to true. And let's go ahead and save this and let's see what we get. And see what happens? When I start resizing the image, we get that nice ghost effect. And then once I let go, it resizes the image appropriately. So I've actually used this property many times. I actually like this one quite a bit. I also like the next one. And let's actually refresh the page here. And you notice how when I resize the image, the aspect ratio gets distorted? Well, we can actually keep the aspect ratio by using the following property. And that is, you guessed it, aspect ratio. And we just set it to true. So let's go ahead and save this and let's see what we get. And take a look at that now. The proper aspect ratio is maintained. So that's another very, very useful property. In fact, I use this one also quite a bit. Now we can also go ahead and create an animation effect. And we just specify the animate property. And we set that to true. And watch what happens here. See how we got that nice animated effect? So that's how the animation property works. Now we can also make the animation faster if you want. So we just add on duration. And then what you want to do is actually set this to fast. And this actually takes quotes. So we just set that to fast. So let's go ahead and save this and let's see what we get. And see how that's much faster now? So that's how the animate duration property works. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you.